Hi, my name is Kong Sun. And I'm Edward Brown. And we're here today at Station 29, and we'll be showing you our Hazardous Materials Response Unit. Come check it out. This is HIT 29, it's 40 feet long and 12 feet high. It has 600 horsepower and 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. This apparatus is amazing. It's a self-functioning unit. It has its own generator. It has a light boom. It has a pop-out for our command post. We also have a weather station on board and also a 35-foot camera. This is the only apparatus in San Jose like this, and we have it here at Station 29. We are a Cal OES Type 1 hazmat team. We deal with a whole host of issues, including gas leaks, fuel leaks, drug labs. We also work with the San Jose narcotics team and bomb squad, and also help and work with the FBI at times. Hey, come check out the inside of our apparatus. It's got a lot of cool stuff inside, and I can't wait to show all of it. So here's the front half, what the front half of the cab looks like. We have the driver over there, of course. We have the captain over here. And we have two firefighters here using these computers and our technical reference material to do research on a certain or specific types of chemicals. Over here, we have area rays. Those are used to monitor our atmospheric working conditions. We have our, we have our lab, and we also have the potential for a command post center where chiefs and other IC can work here in a safe environment. In the lab, we have several different pieces of equipment that we use to assist citizens in the city of San Jose. Of those, we have our negative pressure fume hood, which we use to do chemical analysis on a whole host of unknown chemicals that we come across while going to calls. When we encounter an unknown chemical, we have several tools that we use to identify what it is. And those include our thermoscientific Gemini, which uses the laser to check what the chemical is, or our MX908 device, which also works in a similar fashion. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you our recon bucket. Uh, this bucket is taken on every single entry that we do, and it will usually consist of several different monitors that we use to check the atmospheric conditions. So we come in, we see this yellow multi-ray light, we see a orange one and we see a red one. All of these can assess for different chemicals in the air. The primary one we're gonna use on any hazmat call in the city is this yellow one, and this is called our four gas. And it will assess for oxygen, carbon monoxide, lower explosive limit, hydrogen cyanide, and volatile organic compounds. We also now do evidence collection. We have constructed these kits using the FBI 12 step to do evidence collection and assist with local law enforcement. Um, I wanted to also show you our larger Honeywell Area Ray Pro. Uh, we have four of these units. Uh, they work in tandem with a computer on the hazmat rig in the command post and provide us live feed of atmospheric data on any hazmat incident. Uh, they have a range of two miles and provide us live feed if we need to shelter in place or evacuate people on large incidents that could involve chlorine, ammonia, or any other hazardous gas. Uh, I also want to show you our Verifinder, Nano Raider, and Ludlum. Uh, these are three different types of radiological equipment that we use to detect radiation if we're on a call. And we even have our own second story. Up here, we have three separate compartments that we use to house our level A and level B suits, as well as our generator for this rig. Uh, I just want to give you a quick overview of what I would call a level A suit. This is one of them. This suit contains flash protection as well as is fully encapsulating. Uh, when properly worn, this suit creates its own atmosphere which protects the wearer from any host of chemicals that we might encounter. Some of those chemicals might be chlorine, ammonia, or weapons of mass destruction, nerve agents. While we don't use these suits on a regular basis, we are consistently and always prepared for any natural disaster. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today and checking out uh, hit 39 we had a great time making this video and i hope you enjoyed as much as we did once again we're an all-risk fire department we have the tools and training for any emergency to keep this community safe once again thanks for watching